Hello and welcome back to the Home Improvement Channel, UK. And on today's episode, we've got something special for you guys. We're going to be installing a stair runner in these stairs. First step when doing your stair runner is to measure and cut down your carpet once you've got it. So let's show you how to measure. Get yourself a tape measure. Take the total width, as is 750 millimetres. And what we're going to do is take 100 mil from each side from your total width, which would be 550 mil. Ta-da! Just like that, here's one we made earlier. So you cut your stair size on the side of your carpet, cut it all down, and then you have it either whipped or binded. The choice is up to you. Binding is the cloth that goes down the side. Whipped is this style. Now we're ready to start prepping. First step of prep is to get yourself some gripper. Ow, like that. <laughs> now you've got your gripper, the first thing you're gonna do is double check the finished size of your whipped or bound carpet. Ours is now set at 555, so we've gained five millimeter. That can happen with the binding or the whipping. So we're gonna take that measurement and we're gonna cut our grippers 12 millimeters shorter. So six millimeter either side. What's that for, Phil? and that's to stop the gripper showing through on the side of your run. Right, so Brad's gonna show you how to cut the gripper up. A quick little tip. Woo! First step, you're gonna to need to grab yourself some gripper shears. Ours are broke, so we're gonna to have to use the tin snips. Don't kill us, we recommend gripper shears. Right, so a top tip when cutting your grippers is get your first bit of gripper and get your measurement of 543. Now that we've got our measurement, we're gonna cut the first piece and use this as a template for the others. But just remember to keep the first stick as your template because you could vary if you just kept using a copy of a copy of a copy. And each stair requires two bits of gripper. So our staircase has got 13 stairs, so we need 26 of these. Let's get cutting. Right, now you've got your gripper all cut down to size, you're gonna come back to the stairs, get one of your pieces of gripper, you're gonna stick it there, start with your little 100 mil to get you close, and then you're gonna keep shuffling this back and forth until you've got two equal spacings each side of the gripper. And then you're gonna keep this measurement, and you're gonna go down your staircase, marking one side, you don't need to mark both, of your measurement on the riser and the tread all the way up and then that's gonna be your guide for your grippering. So we'll do this now and we'll get back to you. So now you've done all your marks, we're gonna just chuck gripper on our stairs, two per stair all the way up. So you've got your grippers in place, you've got your marks on the side for where your gripper's gonna start the last thing we need to go over is how far from your riser or your tread you need to set the gap for your carpet. Well, that all changes depending on the carpet. So you need to measure the thickness of your carpet and then you need to double it wherever you're fitting a full piece of carpet. When there's a join, you need to do one and a half times the thickness of the carpet. So we've got ourselves some spacers, ours is nine millimetres, so we've got 18 mil worth of spacers, and you're gonna just sit that down the back like that, line up your mark on the side there that you did, and hit your pins in. Fortunately for us, we've got a nail gun, so we're just gonna do that. And you're gonna sit one here, pin it, same down here. And then we're going to knock our ring shanks in. So for this method with the spacers, what we've done is we've taken six millimeter because of the height for this off of our 18. And we've now got 12 and we're just sitting that square on the one below. 
like that and we put a pin in it like that but from obviously the tread itself we've still got the same spacing now if you don't want to use this method you can just measure and mark so it's up to you uh, however you feel comfortable so we're going to do that the rest of the way up and before i shoot off and do that remember the direction of your gripper the arrows must face the riser and these must face the tread they must face each other if you get them the wrong way around the carpet will never hold now it's time to install your underlay onto your stair runner and the size you need to cut this is the same length as your gripper which in our case is 543 mil and what you've got to do is you've got to get your underlay what i've did is i've done double it up so we don't damage the floor below so and then what you've got to do is you've got to mark there's five four three the top put a little splice in it like that oh let's let's go a bit gentle five feet right that's it and then you come to the bottom of your underlay mark it at the bottom five, four. that's it put a little splice in it that's it and then you get yourself a straight edge i'm using a double today because it's just what i've got laying around and then you cut down the line like that like so ensuring not to mark the floor below and then you have to repeat this process three or four times for your stairs Right, now it's time to install your underlay to your stairs. And what you're gonna to need to do that is, you're gonna need a staple hammer, or you can use spray adhesive if you ain't got one to hand. Right, to do this, you offer it up to your gripper, so it's in line, if you can see that. And then we're gonna just give it one, pop, and then we'll just make sure it's lined up this side, so it's perfectly in line, just, yeah. Get a little close up, thank you. And then we're just gonna put a cut, Take it over and as you put it down just make sure it lines up with the with the with the, i'm going to show you so as that comes down just make sure it lines up with that and then hit it with a staple bob, bob. and then we're going to get a knife i ain't got one i'm going to go get one now that i've got the appropriate tool i'm going to cut it right what you've got to do is you see that bit of gripper there and what you do is you feel for it with your finger just don't cut yourself push it and then just stay along the top of the gripper and then once you get so far across, go this side, feel for it, top of the gripper, and come across. And then when you cut it, it's short. No, I'm doing it. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna repeat the process all the way up so you guys at home can crack on my users doing your one, and we'll see you on the other side. Right, now it's time to install the carpet stair runner. So just before you start, you need to check your pile direction on the carpet. So basically when you push it back, it should spike up and then flat down the stairs. So that's the way you want to go down the stairs. And to install the carpet, you're going to need a mallet and a stair bolster. Also, you're going to need a tape measure. Right, to start, you need to line your carpet up and you need to work out the equal gap either side. So on my occasion, it's 100 mil. Yours might be slightly different due to whipping or banding. So you need to get up, 10 mil up, make sure you're straight, which I am. And now we're just gonna bolster that in. When it's in you get a nice clean you get a nice clean line and then you've got to scrub it onto the grippers so you hear that nice sound that'll be nice and locked in there right now you've stuck that top line in you pull your carpet over tight and you pull it down as much as you can 
push it into the grippers a little bit. And then what you need to do now is check to make sure, because you can push it in and it could be wonky. So you've got to make sure that you check that you've got your equal amount either side. Right, now you grab your stair bolster and now you're going to you're gonna get your bolster and you're going to whack it from the middle down. And then that will stretch the carpet and work your way out towards the edges and then work your way back this way. And that's the stretch, so that's nice and tight. And then what we're going to do is now, we're going to bolster it into the gripper. So what you do is you relieve a little bit of tension, like so. And then you're going to get your mallet and then you're going to tap it in. Like so. And then what that is going to give you, that's going to give you a nice tight line in there. And then you start moving on to the wall to the next step. And you've got to just keep checking to make sure that you're equal. Right, I'm going to show you one more time. So once you've got it in, your nice lines in, I'll scrub it at this stage to make sure the pins are locked in. That's optional. I like to do it just to make sure it don't come out. And then move along. So what we're going to do is just equal. Yeah, equal. Yep, and then, and then put it down, lock it in. Get your bolster from the middle, pull tight, whack. Whack. And back at the point. And that's gone rock solid. And then get your mallet, little bit of little bit of slack. And then I'm just going to carry on, repeat the process, and I'll see you on your bottom. So Brad showed you the top-down method. It's the one we recommend, it's the one we use, there's nothing wrong with it. From the bottom up, so we've got our pole the right way again. The difference is we're going to be using a knee kicker or stretcher. We start at the bottom. We've got it all lined up exactly how we did up the top. And we're going to use these awls just to help the carpet from unhooking while we're putting tension on it. That's all they're there for. So we've got it all lined up. It's where it wants to be. And what I've done, I've just hooked it onto the gripper with a little bit of tension with my hands. And then you take your stretcher See in the middle and your head of your stretcher is just back from the gripper and then you're just going to put a little bit of tension like that, hold it on, again, again, and then the same the other one, same as if you are doing Brad's way, you're still working middle out, middle out, uh, scrubbing, a little bit of a, some people do it, some people don't, we do. So scrub, that's fully fitted, tight as you like. The difference now is where Brad was pushing the slack out from the bottom, we're going to be bringing the slack from the top and bolstering in straight into that corner. We're not trying to do anything else like that. Get your rubber mallet from the centre. Work your way out. Work your way out. And that is one stair fitted from the bottom up. And then all you're going to do is repeat the process. So we'll do one more. We're going to pull it up, get it roughly in position, get our tape measure. There's a hundred. There's a hundred. And then we get our stretcher. And don't forget like it's a short piece of carpet. You're not trying to rip it to the moon. Just a little kick. Make sure it's on the gripper. Plenty of tension in the front. 
scrub, scrub, a little bit of slack, bolster in the middle. Back to the middle, and then out again. Ready to tie it. And that is the process all the way from the bottom up. And that is how you install a stair runner from start to end. And thanks for watching. And if you've been enjoying our videos, please hit the like button and the subscribe button and the bell notification to get regular videos from us. Till the next time, we'll catch you in the next one. See you later.